what is that one thing common to everybody who has done well in CAT? And when I say well in CAT, I mean they have scored over 99th percentile in CAT. My answer would be very simple. They may not all be good at quant. But one thing is very, very, very certain that they are all extremely good at reading. As an aspirant of CAT 2022, you ought to know that reading is going to decide your fate majorly as far as CAT 2022 is concerned. I do not want to tell you that quant is not important or DILR is not important. What I am trying to tell you here is reading and reading skill has an enormous impact on your performance in the other sections also, especially the data interpretation section also. So not only does it affect your score in verbal ability, but it also affects your score in data interpretation and reasoning section. Year after year, I see CAT aspirants devoting an exorbitant amount of time to quantitative aptitude as compared to verbal ability. And ultimately, if you do not supplement your preparation on qu of quantitative aptitude with an adequate preparation on verbal ability, you are not going to gain the desired result. And the desired result is obviously your admission to the institute of your choice. Hello and welcome. My name is Manish Kane and this session is being brought to you by Pathfinder Education Services. Stay with me for another 15-20 minutes and we will talk about some resources which will be important to you if you are preparing for CAT 2022. But before we start, here is something you must know, something that we give away free. So if you are looking for free resources for CAT preparation, you can join one of our free courses on pathfinderforme.com. If you are not able to locate, you can just message to this number 93439-21347 and we will get back to you with the relevant details. If you are looking for strategic information on CAT preparation, on IPMAT preparation, uh, you can just scan this QR code and it will lead you to our YouTube channel. You can subscribe to our channel Pathfinder for me. And if you are looking for content related to CAT preparation, you can subscribe to our channel Mend Your Math by just scanning this QR code. If you wish to join our Telegram channel, you can scan this QR code. And if you wish to message Pathfinder Education Services for any reason, you can just scan this QR code and message. Our batches are starting every week for CAT 2022. So with this brief information, let us start with the first requirement, the first thing that you need to prepare on as far as uh, verbal ability is concerned for CAT. And the first thing is not reading, but developing a good vocabulary. Now, before you start reading a lot, before you sp start spending time on reading, before you start doing grammar, you need to develop a sound vocabulary. Now, many people will argue that vocabulary is not all that important for CAT because it's not asked directly. That's absolutely right. Vocabulary may not be asked in CAT as direct question, but vocabulary is surely tested through the quality of passages that are shared in the reading comprehension section by the choice of words used by the examiners to frame a question. So they may not be checking your vocabulary directly, they are surely, surely checking your vocabulary indirectly. And therefore, it makes a lot of sense for you to prepare for vocabulary. Uh, for example, if the author has asked a question, which of the following argument undermines the author's argument? Now, if you do not know the meaning of the word or undermine, it will be very difficult for you to answer the question. In fact, you are more likely to answer this question incorrectly. So vocabulary. Now, these are four books, very interesting books listed by me uh, to start off on vocabulary preparation. Mind you, I am using the term starting off on vocabulary preparation. The first one is Word Power Made Easy by Norman Lewis, a very well-known book. Uh, you can find this book for around 100-125 rupees in, in a bookstore. 
uh, this book covers vocabulary this book approaches vocabulary through roots and that's a very interesting way to start off the preparation of vocabulary and i repeat it is good book to start your vocabulary preparation but this may not be adequate you can refer to the other books also rosenblum and nurnberg now rosenblum and nurnberg they discuss vocabulary in a slightly different way now, they they discuss it through anecdotes they discuss it through stories and so on and ultimately these stories and anecdotes are coupled with puzzles and exercises for you to remember these words then you have 30 days to a powerful vocabulary by wilfred funk in fact he has authored a book with norman lewis as well and instant vocabulary by ida ilrich now their approaches are slightly different their approaches are more to do with using day to day words in fact wilfred funk has categorically stated that he is using words which are used by famous people so you come across so many words which are being used by people who are well known who are renowned so these are four interesting books which have slightly differing approaches to the coverage of vocabulary but again they may not be sufficient but yes these books are a very good place to start your preparation on vocabulary developing a good vocabulary is just one aspect of getting a good score in verbal ability the other part depends on your reading skill and reading skill can be developed only by reading but that reading has to be properly managed it has to be through the right resources and that is precisely where i'm going to spend the rest of my time in this video so i'll be talking about some resources basically newspapers magazines articles and essays and books which might help you in your uh, in developing a good command on verbal ability it will help you improve your reading speed it will also help you develop a good comprehension starting with newspapers so the newspapers that i recommend i i divide them into indian and you know newspapers that are published elsewhere in india indian express hindu times of india all of them are good newspapers language wise i find indian express and hindu to be a notch only a notch higher language wise and indian express is also available free of cost so if you are someone who's looking for a free resource you can just download the indian express app on your mobile android or ios doesn't matter and you can read this newspaper for free every single day it has a very good collection of articles also in indian express then you have to you should ideally try to read or develop the habit of reading one of those pink newspapers which carry news related to business and economy economic times you know everybody in b school reads economic times business standard mint financial express these are some of the other newspapers which you can refer to you know, they are all the same i mean i i would not differentiate any of these newspapers economic times business standard mint or financial express on language per se they're all good then some of the other newspapers guardian new yorker eon is not a newspaper we will come to eon shortly and the atlantic now see one thing if you want to crack cat if you want to do well in the verbal ability section better develop the habit of reading essays long essays essays on varied topics and eon is just one such place where you will get essays for free essays on a varied topics for free so let us have a look at some of these websites which will help you gear up for the cat verbal ability section so here is the first one let's go online and look at eon so you can see this is the website of eon and what it does is there are essays and these essays could be on absolutely anything you know it could be archaeology ecology environment it could also be on history of science music 
So you can see that these essays are on varied topics and reading them will not only broaden your understanding of knowledge, it will also develop your vocabulary and retain your vocabulary. Similarly, there is another site uh, by the name of alldaily.com. Uh, All Daily also has a segment on essays and opinions. You can read this, essay, you know, this segment on essays and opinion, and you can see that again there are varied things here. So you can see that there are different topics on which these essays are based. So we have an essay on truth of philosophical ideas. We have something for uh, so we have something here on why do people despise critics. Despise means hate critics. Then there is another article on an absolutely different topic that is college teaching. And here we have something on meta ethics. So you can see what kind of variety is there in the articles that are published on these sites. Obviously, reading such articles will broaden your horizons. It will also broaden your understanding of different issues. Then there are magazines which you can read. So the magazines that I like to read, Frontline, Economist, Economic and Political Magazine, Time Magazine and Business Standard. So now understand one thing. This list is not a holy grail. This is just an indicative list. Probably you will go through some trial and error before you arrive at your own list. You know, this is what I did. You can use this as a guide. You can start with these. But then over a period of time, you will realize that there are certain things you like to read more than the other things. So you will arrive at your own unique list by trial and error over a period of time once you get started on to reading magazines and even newspapers. And finally, we have a segment on books. So when you start thinking about books, what books to read? Again, there is no prescribed list of books. Nobody has prescribed any set of books that need to be read. It depends on what you like to do because you know I have come across students who don't like to read, students who have loved to read and students who have developed the habit of reading over a period of time as they, as they progressed into the cat preparation. So if you are someone who doesn't like to read a lot, you know you can just start by with comic books. There is no harm in starting with comic books. Start by reading something you will like to read. Because unless and until you like or you develop that love for reading, you are not going to gain anything and you are not going to develop the skills. Because skills will develop only when you read more and you will read more when you like to read more. You will like to read more if you read what you like. So this is a circle which you, you, will, you will have to get into. So if you have not read a lot, I would suggest start with something that is light start with something that you might like to read uh, you you can divide your reading into fiction and non fiction but my suggestion here is again whether fiction or non fiction always divide reading into different 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 categories so what what i like to do for example fiction can be divided into legal fiction medical fiction philosophical fiction uh, thrillers and so on because each category has its own vocabulary, each category will have its own typical list of words. For example, reading legal fiction will help you gain comfort with words that are often used in the legal terminology. Reading medical fiction might get you, you know, might help you come across certain words which are used in medical terminology very commonly. So that will broaden not only your understanding of different issues, but it will also help you understand words from different domains. So legal fiction, the two authors that come to my mind, John Grisham and Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie 
basically has written very similar novels you know her novels are all about one murder and mostly or in most of her novels the main protagonist is uh, Hercule Poirot who is a detective a belgian detective who will solve a murder mystery so to that extent uh, agatha christie novels they they start getting very similar but john grisham he has written varied books and you know the firm the runaway jury the client these are all books written by john grisham in fact the firm is a very very gripping book you know, you just cannot put the book down once you start reading in fact it has also been made into a movie by the same name the firm for medical fiction you can try robin cook michael crichton uh, robin cook incidentally has written a book called pandemic in 2018 so this pandemic was about a disease that causes an acute respiratory dis- distress among people and this was just covid just before covid now i know you you might you might start uh, getting conspiracy theories in your mind but this is one example of how fiction can actually get real so pandemic this book was written in 2018 it was uh, it it was released and 2019 onwards end of 2019 we faced a similar situation to covid then we have philosophical fiction sophie's world is a fantastic book introducing you to the history of philosophy then atlas shrugged and fountain head by ann rand are classic books on objective individualism in fact ann rand has extensively written on this subject then you have zen and the art of motorcycle maintenance which talks about metaphysics and quality written by robert pirsig and of course there are thrillers by frederick forsyth jeffrey archer dan brown robert ludlum and chetan bhagat also yeah I many chetan bhagat not for the language but for the story so and when you think of robert ludlum when you think of frederick forsyth jeffrey archer lots of books will come to your mind these are all authors who have written gripping stories gripping uh, tales for example the day of the jackal by frederick forsyth you know try reading this book then you have uh, cain and abel not a penny more not a penny less by jeffrey archer beautiful book dan brown uh, da vinci code digital fortress uh, robert ludlum how can you forget robert ludlum the man who invented jason bourne so the entire series of jason bourne the bourne ident- starting with bourne identity and i think ending with jason bourne the novel so the entire series has been written by robert ludlum inspired by robert ludlum so they're all beautiful read and i'm sure once you develop a taste for reading such books they will greatly help you in improving your language skills and i can go on and on on these books i've read lots of them then there is a fiction related to mythology kavita kane has written a book called karna's wife now this is a different take on mahabharat you know amish tripathi shiva trilogy sita ravan immortals of meloha so these are all different takes on our mythology as we know them then you have science fiction arthur c clark isaac asimov read them business fiction goal goal was one of the books prescribed to me during my mba days it's a beautiful book which is fiction but at the same time it talks about something related to management uh, critical chain and then we also have books from the non fiction domain again divide non fiction reading also into different domains psychology management economics politics you, know, you can you might not be able to read all of them in all of them in one year but if you divide them in categories at least you can read books from two three different categories for example psychology i found influence science and practice by robert caldini a wonderful book road less travel again another book that was prescribed to me during my uh, mba days at xlri scott peck is the author it's, a, it's another beautiful book games people play is all about transactional analysis by eric burr then you have books on management freakonomics by stephen levitt in fact stephen levitt 
reminded me of another uh, Levitt called Theodore Levitt who has written Marketing Myopia. You know, this was a classic article on ma marketing. You know, just Google it and you will find Marketing my Myopia. It's a 16 or 20 page article basically on marketing. Then The World is Flat by Thomas L. Friedman, Made to Stick by Chip and Dan Heath. Then you have Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. Lots and lots of books. And then there can be general books, Sapiens, Brief History of Time, Ascent of Man, Ascent of Money, Naked Abe, Dragons of Eden, Tower of Physics. I can go on and on. So these books are numerous. What you need to do is categorize them and read them. Try to read books belonging to two or three different domains. That will help you broaden your horizons as I've, al as I've always stated. So here are some more books on non-fiction. Philosophy, Story of Philosophy by Will Durand, Burton Russell. There is a collection of books written by Burton Russell. Then there is a series of books written by J. Krishnamurti. Then there is another book by Brian Ways, Many Masters, Many Lives. So, you know, you can basically read as many books as you like. Then you have Monk Who Sold His Ferrari by... Now these are basically books to motivate you. The Secret by Rhonda Bryan, Alchemist by Apollo Colo, Pursuit of Happiness by Chris Gardner. If, you know, whenever you feel down, reading this book, Pursuit of Happiness, will actually help you forget the reason why you are basically down. So this is a beautiful book again by Chris Gardner. So all I can say is read these books. It will help you develop that important skill of reading. Finally, here are some free resources for CAT preparation. You can message to 93439-1347 if you are looking for a free course. And if you are looking for some strategy related sessions, you can just scan this QR code and subscribe to our channel Pathfinder for me. Or you can subscribe to our channel Mend Your Math for content related to academics, that is mathematics and data interpretation and reasoning. You could also join our Telegram channel where we share a lot of uh, amazing resources every day. So you can scan QR code and if you want to message us for or if you want to ask a query, you can just message us on WhatsApp by scanning this QR code. So with this we come to an end of this session on uh, resources uh, to prepare for verbal ability. If you have any queries, please ask in the comment section. You can also ask by sending us a WhatsApp message on our WhatsApp number. That's all for now. Thank you very much.